This question is weird because the word carriage is pretty well known to you, but you think of a thing with wheels, right? Or maybe drawn by a horse, right? So the idea of this word not meaning that is very strange to you. You've probably seen, never seen it before. That shouldn't bother us. This whole paragraph here is giving us lots of other clues about what it means in this particular context. What are they talking about? They're talking about a guy who's grown tall, athletic, well-formed, right? Besides whom his, the master is slender and youth-like, his upright right carriage, he's in the army, his countenance was much older in expression and a decision of feature, the way he looks, right? So there's lots of things about describing the guy. So if you're trying to guess what this word means here, his upright look, his upright form, right? Just use words that are kind of coming up in other sentences around it, and you're probably at least on the right track. So it's definitely not transportation. The other ones are kind of weird maybe, but bearing is, a, is the right word here. It's how you carry yourself, right? So carriage, carry, right? How you carry yourself, how you look, how you uh, put yourself out there in the world, you know, you have a good posture, things like that. So his bearing is what they're talking about, the way he it shows himself physically in the world. So support is kind of just weird. He's, no one's supporting anybody. This isn't about like an idea of any kind. Um, and he's not being supported physically. And holster is like what a gun goes into. So that's just kind of weird. So there you go. Hopefully you can use those clues to get this very weird definition of a word that you're familiar with in other contexts.